Are your manufacturing leaders quiet firing your employees? I'm Greg Schenkel, president of Unique Training and Development and Frontline Leadership Systems, and you've heard the expression of quiet quitting, but what about quiet firing? Quiet firing in some people's mind is something that's mythical, it doesn't exist. But really, quiet firing is when your leaders start to take away things from people in terms of work schedule, give them uncomfortable assignments, keep them from getting training, avoiding giving them an increase in their pay or additional perks or even uh, recommending them for promotion. So by withdrawing that support, we're not really telling the person that they're fired, but we're making things so uncomfortable that the person feels like they have no choice but to quit. So it's a way it's called quiet firing. One department at one of our customers was having a morale problem and a performance problem. When we dug deeper, it turned out that instead of tackling these performance issues and having these difficult conversations, the supervisors were basically withdrawing their support in hopes that the employee would find it so distasteful that they would quit. They were essentially quiet firing the employees. The problem is that created two really big problems. One is that the employees who had performance issues continued with it longer than the supervisors hoped that they would, and the good performing employees who were meeting expectations were starting to become disgruntled because no one seemed to be addressing the performance problems in their coworkers. So we suggested that they, and trained them on the skills of having these good conversations to address these behavior and performance problems. The good news was that many of the troublesome employees either turned things around or they were terminated or quit, and the remaining employees started to see that performance was indeed important and that the management was willing to have these conversations to tackle the problem. So it was a win-win and there was greater respect all around. Now I've got a few tips for you on how you can avoid quiet firing and instead deal with the performance problems that are happening in your department. Tip number one is to clarify expectations. This should always be your starting point when there's a performance or behavior issue, is to clarify that you and the team member are on the same page in terms of what's expected. Once the expectations are clear, the next tip is to address the behavior and performance issues. Having these conversations is not always a supervisor's favorite task, but you'd be surprised that once most employees know that they need to address an issue, many of them will go ahead and make those changes to start to meet your expectations. But it won't happen unless you have those conversations. And part of our training program is helping people to become more effective at having those conversations about behavior and performance issues. The third tip is to recognize performance. Now, instead of just thinking about the bad performance, we need to recognize that there's good performance happening. And when we talk about what's going well and who is meeting and exceeding expectations, it can help people understand that management is concerned about winning and performing and willing to acknowledge it and call it out. Now, it doesn't even have to be a numerical remuneration or bonus. It just has to be, hey, when things are going well, we highlight it and we reinforce it. Now once you've done those few things, you can avoid the quiet firing and instead manage the performance in your work group. You might say, hey, there's other leadership skills that I need to work on. And our frontline leadership program is an excellent way of building the skill sets and the confidence level in your frontline leadership team. Now, you can have that delivered on site in person if you have enough people to participate, or you can enroll your team into our public workshops or take part in our virtual training delivered from our state-of-the-art virtual training studios. We also have frontline leadership on demand, which allows you to register one person who can learn the leadership skills in an interactive way, but do it at their own pace online. No matter how you want us to work with your team to improve their skills and their performance, it all begins with a conversation. And you can do that by visiting our website at uniquedevelopment.com. And once we have a connection, we can discuss what the best approach is for your company. And then we can partner together to start increasing the skill set of your frontline supervisors, team leaders, and managers.